Hello, I am Dr. Nikita Singhal. In this presentation, I am going to discuss acyloin condensation. The name is given on the basis of product formation. So, in this reaction, acyloin will be formed as product. Acyloin means alpha hydroxy ketones. In acyloin condensation reaction, Ester molecules react in presence of sodium metal and yields a alpha hydroxy ketone. It can be intermolecular or it can be intramolecular. So two different ester molecules can couple together to give the alpha hydroxy ketones or a dibasic ester can react together in presence of sodium metal and yield a cyclic ketone. Here sodium act as a electron donor so in the reaction we will get a uh, two dianion radicals which can couple together and forms a forms a product so this is also known as reductive coupling because sodium provides electron and in presence of electron the two different ester molecules or the similar ester molecules couples and produce the alpha hydroxy ketones now coming to the mechanism part here we can see we are taking the ester molecule as our reactant in presence of sodium metal what will happen because of the polarity of carbonyl group oxygen will take electrons and it will be a negative electron so carbon will be positive because sodium is present so it will provide electrons to the carbon and we will get a radical anion so here two molecules are taken as for ester so we will get two radical ion and ions and they will couple together and dimerize to produce this dianion where this similar molecule will form a bond with the due to the radical formation so we will get the same molecule here and this dianion will release the alkoxide from here this will release the carbonyl bond will form again and it will release the OI negative. So alkoxide will be removed in this step and we will get the 1 2 dicarbonyls. In presence of sodium metal again the electron transfer step will take place and here due to the polarity oxygen will take up the charge and carbon will have a positive charge. Due to the sodium one carbon radical will be here and other carbon will be here. So they will form a bond and will uh, will get uh, our indiolate molecule. After the hydrolytic workup or acidic workup, we will get this here. The H ion will be come instead of sodium ion, and they due to the keto enol tautomerism, this will convert into the keto group, and alpha position will be occupied the hydroxy. So we'll pro our product will be acyloin or alpha hydroxy ketones. Because in this reaction, alkoxide are formed as intermediate during the one to, during the dicarbonyl formation. Alkoxides remove from the dianion species, and alkoxide as a base can react towards the diester molecule and for, uh, can form the beta keto ester by the Dickmann condensation reaction. So our product yield will be decreased if the competitive reaction will takes place simultaneously. So Ruhlmann scientist has done some variation in this reaction. What he has done, this carbonyl dianion is formed. He has trapped this dianion or indiolate by the, tri, uh, by the chloro trialkyl silane, which is a good trapping agent. So it will form the silyl ether. Further, this chloro trimethyl silane can react with the alkoxide ion and convert it into Alcohol, alcohol and chloride will be replaced with the sodium ion. So this silyl ether can easily hydrolyze to give the acyloin, as in, to, give, to yield the acyloin. So this, this method provides the small, medium and large carbocyclic rings in good amount of yield. Now coming to some examples, here we have taken the intermolecular acyloin condensation 
where two molecules of ethyl pentanoid reacts with the sodium. So what will happen first? Sodium will provide the electron to the carbon and they will forms the radical anion. Then a dimerization step will take place. So these bond will couple together and ethoxide ion will release. So we will get the dicarbonyls. In presence of sodium, again the electron transfer will take place and we will get the bond here and O ne negative, O negative will be formed. So this is ene diolate and further on the hydrolysis followed by the ketoenol tautomerism, acyloin will be produced. In the next example, we have taken an intramolecular acyloin condensation where the dimethyl 3,3 dimethyl pentane dioate which is a diester molecule reacts in presence of sodium. So what will happen here the intramolecular reaction takes place. In presence of sodium similarly we will get the ene diolate. In presence of chlorotrimethylsilane this will ene diolate will traps this chlorotrimethylsilane and converts into the silyl ethers which can be hydrolyzed easily and this chlorotrimethylsilane is converted into this because this bond will break and will get the OHOH which on the ketoenol tautomerase will produce the acyloin as a major product. Here we have taken some more example where by the acyloin condensation we can form the larger rings as well. So here we have taken a big molecule which is a dibasic ester in presence of sodium followed by the acidic workup it will yield a large cyclic ring its name is 2 hydroxycyclodecanone in similar fashion acyloin condensation can used to prepare the paracyclophanes here this molecule reacts with the sodium and what will happen because it is a dibasic ester so these two ester group couple together and will form the acyloin for the reduction of this molecule in presence of zinc HCl will yield the paracyclophanes so here the carbonyl and as well as this OH group on carbonyl will reduce into CH2 groups in similar fashion if we want to form some small cyclic compounds by the acyloin condensation then we can use the Ruhlmann variations where the diethyl succinate was treated with the sodium so it will form an ene diolate which was treated with the chlorotrimethylsilane so it will give the silyl ether on further hydrolysis with the methanol it will produce the 2 hydroxycyclobutanone so acyloin condensation is a useful method to produce the acyloin that is alpha hydroxy ketone we can form different sizes of carbocyclic ring this is a very good method to form the carbon carbon bond formation thank you